Hi, it's Mark Lance again, working on our uh, preparing you for your GED test. The last two lessons we were doing what I call naked number problems, which were multiplication and division of fractions. So now we're going to take a look at a couple of word problems, the kind of problems you might see on a test. Um, when we did multiplication problems, they were all multiplication problems, so you knew it was multiplication. Then we did a whole bunch of division problems, they were all division problems. This problem we're going to have to figure out what we're doing. So here's the problem says, a tailor has 20 yards of shirt fabric. How many shirts can she complete if each shirt requires two and three-fourths yards of fabric? So the first thing to decide, there's only two numbers in this problem, 20 and two and three-fourths, is what we're going to do with those two numbers. Well, no one's going to be tempted to add them or subtract them. But the question then is, are we, is this a multiplication problem or a division problem? So what we're really doing is we're trying to find out how many two and three-fourths are there in 20 yards, okay? It's obviously going to be more than one. Looks like it's going to be more than two, some number, and we're trying to figure out from the multiple choice which it is. Okay, so I would say that we're try it's going to be a division problem. We want to know 20, oh, that's the other thing, which number is getting divided. It's the 20 yards that's getting divided, so that's 20 yards divided by two and three-fourths. We don't do it this way, but we could. How many of these two and three-fourths are there in that 20? Okay, and we don't have a calculator, so no problem for us though. So it's gonna be 20 divided by, we'll change this to a mixed number, two times four is eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, this exact same thing, okay? Two times four is eight. Each of these numbers, one and two, has four fourths. So here's four fourths in the first one, four fourths in the second, that makes eight fourths, plus three more fourths, 11 fourths. So here's our problem. Now we remember that dividing by 11 fourths is the same as multiplying by four over 11. Okay, same thing. Now let's just multiply. Numerator times numerator is 80. Four times two is eight, so four times 20 is gonna be the same thing with a zero on the end. One times 11 is 11, so there we go. 11 into 80. Well, everybody knows there are 11 times tables. 11, 22, 33, 44, so it's gonna go, 11 goes into 80 seven times. Seven times 11 is 77. Seven and three elevenths. So we look over here at the multiple choice. I don't see seven and three elevenths. Why is that? Because it says how many complete shirts. Nobody wants to buy three elevenths of a shirt. So this is the, the whole number is the number of complete shirts that you can make. And so our answer is gonna be B, seven complete shirts, and there'll be three elevenths of a yard left over. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, here's a second problem involving either multiplication or division of fractions. A lot of words here. An insurance agent estimates that it takes two-thirds of an hour to process a customer's claim. If the agent spends 22 hours per week processing claims, about how many claims does he process in a week? Okay, so let's just think about that. If it took the guy an hour to do each claim, in 22 hours he would do 22 claims. But this is saying that it only takes him two-thirds of an hour. So it takes him a little bit less than an hour. That makes me think that the answer is going to be more than 22. So that would make me rule this one out already. But we'll see. So the problem is going to be 22 hours. How many two-thirds are there in that 22? But that's not how we write it. We're going to say 22 divided by 2 thirds. It's the same thing, okay? And we know that we can solve this by changing this to a multiplication problem and inverting that fraction or using its reciprocal, which is 3 over 2, okay? I put that one there just so they both look like fractions. And now look, we caught a break with the canceling. 2 goes into 2 once. 
2 goes into 22, 11. 3 times 11 is 33. So indeed, since he does each of them in less than an hour, the number is going to be bigger than 22. And there it is, 33. Okay? We'll do one more, and that'll be it for today. Okay, our last problem uh, involving fractions and either multiplying or dividing is this one. So I give a picture here. These are supposed to be fluorescent lighting fixtures. 12 and 5 eighths is for one fixture, and there's three of them. So the problem says a fluorescent lighting panel, well, that's supposed to be an N, pardon me, is 12 and 5 eighths wide. If there are three of the panels are installed as shown above, what will be the width in inches of the combined panels? And they give 14. So we could do this by addition. We could add 12 and 5 eighths, 12 and 5 eighths, 12 and 5 eighths. But I think you could see that multiplication would be quicker. In fact, multiplication is fast addition. So the problem is going to be 12 and 5 eighths, and we want three of them. So multiplication, 12 and 5 eighths times 3. So as usual, change this into an uh, improper fraction. 8 times 12 is 96, plus 5 is 101 eighths times 3 over 1. Okay. Not the greatest numbers, but they're not too bad. No canceling this time. 3 times 101, I can do in my head, because I know that 3 times 100 is 300, and 3 times 1 is 3, but you can check it, and I think we'll come up with 303 divided by 8. Okay? So 8 goes into 30. 8 times 3 is 24. Well, let's do it this way, just to eliminate any error. 8 goes into 30 three times. 3 times 8 is 24. 10 minus 4 is 6. Bring down the 3. Now it's 8 into 63. So that's going to be uh, 7. 8 times 7 is 56. 13 minus 6 is 7. 7 eighths. These three panels strung together would make a total of 37 and Seven eighths, and there it is. Okay, we'll be doing more problems in the future, and that will require us to use these skills, and that's what we'll be doing next time. Thanks.